So four days ago, we were told that homicide detectives went to Uptown, Uptown, Skyline Uptown Apartments in Albuquerque on Louisiana and Constitution just before 7 p.m. Four days ago, four days ago. So this is February 2nd today. And then this is dated. This isn't even dated. But it's four days ago, and that's it. So on Friday, on Friday, it's Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday, Saturday, Sunday, Friday, five days ago. And that's it. We just were told that there was a dead, a dead man on the property of Skyline Uptown Apartments on Louisiana and Constitution <clears throat> just before 7 p.m. Now, I got a comment on one of the videos saying R.I.P. to Angel Varela. 30-year-old Angel Varela is the man that was killed at the Skyline Uptown Apartments on 1200 Louisiana Northeast near Mountain. Police found Varela dead on the property. This is Albuquerque.com, Albuquerque or ABQJournal.com. By Matthew Risen, it's saying detectives released the names of two people who were killed. They released the names of two people who were killed over the past few weeks around Albuquerque. Gilbert Gallegos, an Albuquerque police spokesman, said that the deaths of Shania Spencer, 22, and Angel Varela are being investigated as homicides. So R.I.P. Angel Varela, R.I.P. Shania Spencer. When you say the names of the dead to the earth, they are still alive. Who was Shania Spencer? Who was Angel Varela? <clears throat> Who was their spirit? Who was their soul? They wanted to make people laugh. They were hard workers. Who were these people? Now, the spokesperson had said that the death of Rochelle Deadman, 36, is being investigated as a suspicious death, but not a homicide. And that was near Zuni in Pennsylvania. January 22, 8.30 a.m. So January 28th, 2022, they said 6.45 p.m. to reports of an unconscious man. Skyline Uptown Apartments, 1200 Louisiana, any near Mountain Police said. The only thing, <clears throat> I couldn't find any pictures. I'm not for sure. What the guy looks like, I don't know anything, any of the details. So four days ago, we were told somebody was killed. And then four days later, we were told who it was. Who did it? What happened? What were the circumstances leading up to it afterwards? None of that's being told to the public. We're just supposed to trust the police. They got it all under control. Not in Albuquerque. They don't have it under control in Albuquerque. Tim Keller is sitting there saying that the citizens are screaming for the legislature. Why don't Tim Keller get it out on the streets? Could you imagine the mayor being at your house for an hour or two with a cop or two? I bet you wouldn't have no problem then. Let's see Tim Keller get out there and fight some crime. Because this shit's ridiculous. This shit's ridiculous. The only thing that I found the uh, Angel Varela was just this mylife.com. Said that he was living, they had two addresses here, 232 63rd Street, Northwest Apartment B, Albuquerque, New Mexico, 87105. And then 301 Whispering Sands Court, SC Apartment D, Albuquerque, New Mexico, 87123. Says that Sherry Chappelle, Manuel Marquez, and Maria Ortiz Morales are the neighbors, and Kara Gatliff. Osman Varela Vila and Charlotte Varela are some relatives or associates. And that's it. That is it. So, what a very skimpy picture. Lack of details, lack of leads. Who did it and why? What was the point? I guess you'd start rationalizing at this point, right? Coming up with excuses.
Anyways, R.I.P. Angel Varela, R.I.P. Angel Varela, R.I.P.